Got a question in your Chinese learning? Ask Andy. 你好 welcome to Ask Andy. In this video, our topic is Chinese pronunciation O2. I'm going to answer three questions. Question number one: How do native Chinese pronounce simple initials? You are going to find native Chinese pronounce simple initials with extra vowels. Why? Question number two: Any tricks to learn Qi Qi Xi? So I'm going to share with you my tricks to learn Qi Qi Xi in this video. Question number three: Look, these three equations. I believe they are well known to all Chinese learners. I'm not here to let you know they are important. These rules, you must remember them. So I'm here to answer this question: Why does yu go without umlaut when it goes after ji qi xi? What? Can anyone explain why? Yes, I can. But again, it's my hypothetical answer. I cannot guarantee he's 100% correct. But what I can guarantee is it makes sense to you. Let's get started. Question number one. How do native Chinese pronounce simple initials? You are going to find native Chinese pronounce simple initials in this way: bo, po, mo, fu, de, te, ne, le, ge, ke, he. Why do they pronounce with extra vowels? The answer is. Because native Chinese are not used to pronounce a syllable finishing with a consonant, we try to make a vowel in the end if we have to pronounce a syllable finishing with a consonant. That's why we pronounce simple initials with extra vowels. For this point, think about Chinglish. You may understand it better. In Chinglish, you are going to hear "good friend" for "good friend." Does that make sense to you? <laughs> okay, let's move on. So any tricks to learn Qi Qi Xi? See, so for Qi Qi Xi, what you can do is first you do jeep, jeep. So this G is the same G, and then cheese, cheese. That's Qi, and then sheep, sheep. That's Xi. Done. It's easy, right? <laughs> okay, let's move on. So these three equations, they are well known to all Chinese learners, I believe. And the question is, why does yu go without umlaut when it goes after ji qi xi? Actually, I asked exactly the same question when I was in my elementary school. I can still remember the answer from my Chinese teacher. Actually, I didn't ask with umlaut. I ask in this way. So I ask why the two dots on yu disappear when it's combined with the ji qi xi. The answer from my teacher was, I can still remember it. Is that's a rule? Remember it. Don't ask why. <laughs> But I can't accept that answer. I'm trying to think of an answer. Why we don't need the two dots? And finally, I came up. I came up with the answer. So it's a hypothetical answer. I cannot guarantee it's one hundred percent correct, but it should make sense to you. This one. Take a look. So in my previous video, I make this equation. So yu equals e plus wu. What does that mean? So when you want to make a yu sound, you have to have your tongue position like a e, and make your lips like a wu. In that case, you can combine them together. Then you are going to get a u sound. You are going to make a u sound. So the question is, why the two dots are removed when u is combined with ji qi xi? Why ji qi xi? Why not other initials? The trick is here. So when you pronounce ji qi xi, actually, you you have e there. Though we couldn't see it, it's invisible, but it is there. We move it here. And then take this equation. Okay, it's a, it's a bit like mathematics. And then we have this. Maybe right now you understand why. 
because when you pronounce ji qi xi, you already make the e there. And then this invisible combination, this e is combined with the wu, and then it's going to make a yu sound. In that case, it's not necessary for us to put the two dots there. It's not necessary for us to make umlaut there. So that's why. This is one reason. Another reason is, I think, when we type, it's much easier for us to type letter U than this U. So that's why we, may, we, we try to remove the two dots when it's, when it's possible. So two reasons. One is it's not necessary because we already have E and combine and it combines with U is going to make a U sound. The other reason is it's much easier for us to type the letter U, that's U compared to U. That's my answer. I hope it makes sense to you. Okay, let's practice some useful words combined, uh, composed of simple initials and finals. First one, so big brother. How can we pronounce big brother? Remember the trick? Okay, we make it. How do we do that? So first, this uh. So, g and the first tone, remember. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti. Ti, g. Neutral tone will be neutral, so that will be slight. So, g, g. G, g. Remember, it's not ge, ge. It's g, g. G, g is big brother. Good, good. And then what about this one? So make it D E E. Fourth tone. What is fourth tone? Fourth tone is hey. So D D. D D. D D is little brother. And then well. What is I or me? And then ni. Ni. Ni is you. And then for ta. We can make T A H. First of all, T Ta Ta. So you may ask, how can I know is he or she? Actually, you can see we have different characters for he or she. And Chinese is a contextual language. In a certain context, we can tell it's he or she. And then for this one, we can make it into B O O. Fourth of So. Hey, bu, bu, bu means not or don't. And then this one, hey, so that's la, la. And then first tone, t, so he, he. And then well, hey, so ke le, ke le. So he is drink. Kele is Coke. Actually, right now we can make sentences. So what about he drinks Coke? We already know he is ta, and then drinks. Hmm. Good news is in Chinese language we don't have conjugations for verbs, so we just do drink. And then Coke is here, so the answer is ta he kele. Ta he kele. Try it. It's easy, right? And then I don't drink Coke. Think about it. How can I do that? How can you do that, right? So I is wa. Don't is bu. Drink is he. Coke is ke le. It's easy. See the answer? Wa bu he ke le. Wa bu he ke le. Easy, right? Okay, let's move on. So for this one, so make it into J E E first tone. So G G. So you can see G means chicken or machine. So you may ask, how can I tell which one you're talking about? So see, they they are they are in totally different characters. And then for this pronunciation, it's a bit challenging. So this is Chu to go to is Chu. How can you do that? First, you do. C H E E. So chi chi and this remember this is not a u, this is u. So combine them together, that will be fourth tone. Hey, that's chu. Chu. That's to go to. And then where is nali? Nali. 
Lee's neutral. Nali, Nali. So how can we say where are you going? Where are you going is 你去哪里? 你去哪里? Literally, it is you go where. 你去哪里? You are going to hear it from a taxi driver. So that's all for today. I hope you find my videos useful for you. If you like my video, please like it below. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can be the first one to see my latest videos. Thank you for watching. 再见